Okay, so this is just a short video to show you how to use Camtasia. So let's say you've got your clip here that you want to use. So you can just grab it and drag it down to the timeline. You see it lets go exactly wherever I dropped it. So if I slide it all the way over, it starts at the beginning of the timeline. I can drag it out to the end. I can drag it further away like that. Um, so I'm going to slide it down because I want to put a title clip in like you wanted. So I can do that. I go to library and see there are a bunch of them. They have all kinds of themes or whatever. If you want to use that, you can just use the simple ones all the way down at the bottom. So if you double click, it'll play for you. And you can see that in the screen in the upper right corner. Um, and if you want to use it, you just click and hold and then drag it down. Okay. So now you see I have to position it on the timeline. I'm going to slide it all the way over. And then I can slide this all the way over. Um, and so now if I hit play here, you can see that it's going to go through the title clip. And then it's going to go um, like that. So... I'm not a big fan of the um, talking while you're recording, so I generally do the voiceover. I'll show you that in just a second. So here, if I want to edit this, if I double click on it, you see it pops up here, and then I could just say um, whatever this was. Go wee wee. All right. So the other thing is I can change the duration of this. If I right click on that clip, see I can change clip speed, I can change the duration. So it's supposed to be five seconds. If I think that's too long, I can shorten it. And then it's shorter. So now if I hit play, you can kind of see what it looks like. All right, and then it starts. So you know, um, the other thing is, it's like you can hear some clicking on that um, video that was captured. So if I go here and I go to audio, I have um, choices I can do here. So if I right click, you see I always get all these options, right? But if I click, you'll see that there's like that green part and I can click silence and that takes all the audio out. And so now I can go back in and I can record a vo voiceover. So let's say that I get all the way down here to the end and I'll scroll down. All right, and then I'll click to bring my thing here. Okay, and let's hit play and see what's happening. So you can kind of tell that, you know, maybe I'm going to want to edit it or whatever. So there are a couple of things. Um, see, I can slide these pieces. So just for instance, if I grab the red and pulled and held and pulled down, see, I get a duration like that. And then if I want to remove that, I can just click the scissors and it removes that section. If I did that wrong, I can hit undo and it'll come back. Um, if I'm trying to get more precise, I can actually zoom in and out. So see how the scale gets bigger and smaller with the magnifying glass here. So let's say that you had it all ready to go and you wanted to um, go back to the beginning of the clip and do your voiceover so you could come here just click on your timeline at the beginning and drag your bar down now if you want to record the voiceover you can just go to voice narration from more and then you can do start recording and you can mute the speakers or not but I'll hit stop start recording and so now it's recording over what I'm saying so I could narrate those kinds of things I can always stop it 
and then start it again if I only want to record a few minutes because maybe I see that I need to do something like extend a frame um, and I can show you how to do that too but so that'll give you an idea see and I, once I click stop recording it's gonna ask me for a file to save and so I can just say test like that and you'll see it's right there okay so let me tell you that they don't sound very good when you do them that way so if you click see it's added a track above too so if I clicked on that and then went to audio I could do volume leveling I could do the noise removal and then I would might want to do a volume up to make the overall make it a little louder but that takes out the peaks and valleys in my voice so anyway hope this helps you figure out how you want to do this okay